guys, this is Tina. Welcome back to my channel. So we're here for another bit of our X Piles um, video series. Uh, so what I have done since the last video, as you can see, I have taken the majority of the pile and coffee dyed it all. Now, I left one or two bits because I thought, you know, these for instance because I had started using those making the kids book um, pieces so I might not want to actually coffee dye those so I left those but I did coffee dye the majority of the pile so the bits that I didn't coffee dye I'm just going to pop to one side let me just pull out these bits here okay so yeah let me just pull out the bits that I'm sort of focusing on so let me just put these down Oops. again just putting them on the floor behind me now have I got everything here okie dokie right so I have got a really eclectic mix of paper going on here and I thought obviously I am not making particularly fast progress so far in my clearing of the pile um, so what I thought that I would do now is literally, um, we will just make an, a, you know, eclectic random kind of journal or something like that, because, you know, clearly this is not really, not really having much of an impact very quickly. So I'm going to endeavour to just make something pretty quickly, um, out of, I'm not saying every piece of this scrap because I may just you know struggle to incorporate some of these things together but a lot of this and I also had this Amazon packaging that was like you know down on the floor um, to the side of my desk and I thought we'll just use this I think as the cover for the you know for the journal um, so I will decorate this but I will probably do this afterwards so what I'm going to do first of all is just select my papers and things and put them in some form you know of a journal so yeah I have got an eclectic mix here and I'm not saying that I'm going to be able to incorporate everything because you know even even though I'm trying to be random it may just be that it will be way 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 too random um so yeah I've got these which were all out of one paper pad so, you know, you'd like to think that they at least went, wouldn't you? I'm just going to raise my camera slightly because, of course, this pile is quite big now. Um, and this one... So, I mean, these are obviously, you know, pretty much a good sort of colour palette because they were obviously all out of the same pack. Um, that one, again, was out of the same pack. This one here... I'm pretty sure this wasn't out of the same pack. It's, if it was, I had obviously torn it out a long while ago. But again, it's going to tone really nicely. So, you know, there's no reason that can't go in there. So I've got those there. So that is quite a few to keep going. So I think what I'm going to do first of all is chop these down to a sort of manageable size. So for me... That would be just, you know, easy to go with a copy page size. So I will just grab one of those, ooh, one of those that I've coffee dyed. And I'm just going to go across and cut these. Now, the chances are really I should, should separate these out. But let's see if I can do it together. Obviously not making a great job of this. And I'm going to have to tidy these up. But... too bad I mean they they are a little bit wiggly in places but they're not as bad as I thought they might be so okay that's that one and this one here okie dokie let me just get rid of those bits in the bin well it's not really a bin but you know my carrier bag that I use as a bin so that down that one. I love this paper absolutely love it 
which is, you know, a lot of the reason why I have just literally hoarded this for the longest time. I did make a mini album once out of that. Um, oh, a long time ago, you know, years ago, like maybe seven years or something ago. Um, and it turned out really lovely, I must say. It was really, really nice. Right, I've also got this coffee dyed paper, which goes really nicely. So these are my offcuts, which I'm just going to keep to one side because, of course, we can do things with those. So these are all looking, you know, pretty good. Now I've got these, which obviously they're not really big enough to have as pages, but I might be able to incorporate them somehow making pockets and things like that. I've got these, which are just obviously flowers, and these, and these, and these. So these are just little cut-off pieces, so I just put those to one side. Again, you know, this isn't really big enough to have as a page. <clears throat> Excuse me. But I might be able to sort of make pockets or something out of that. I've got quite a bit of vellum here, which I thought was really fun and nice. So I might use some of that. But now, does anyone else experience this sometimes where you literally ruin the vellum when you're ironing it? So I coffee dyed it and I've ironed it. And I discovered that this seems to happen when obviously the iron is like way too hot for the vellum. So how I found was best to do it and it worked then on this one I've just got a really teeny bit which actually I don't even think that is that is that um so what I did with with this piece was I actually placed a sheet of paper over it and then ironed over that if you iron direct onto the vellum this does seem to have a tendency to happen so yeah which is annoying because I've ruined loads of bits of vellum like that, which, um, you know, is then just really irritating, isn't it? Right, now I've got this sheet of paper, which again, you know, colour-wise, I don't think that's too bad, to be honest. And I've got that one there from my um, vintage Viola kit. But yeah, I think they go quite nice. I've got this vellum, which thankfully that weird thing didn't happen, I didn't scorch it. So again, that's quite nice, isn't it? So we're already sort of building up quite a stack here, which is great. So I'll just put these on my lap for a minute. Again, these are going to be like ephemera type pieces. I've got more vellum. That's quite a nice color. So, I mean, we're really getting some really nice colors now, aren't we? You know, it's taking on quite a rich, nice effect. Now, this blue, I do like it. I'm not sure whether for me that's a little bit too out there. It doesn't really go with the rest of the pieces. Or do we think actually that's quite a nice contrast and a way to mix it up? Shall we just chuck that in there? And I have got two sheets of that, so we kind of, you know, put in two sheets. Now I've got this one obviously with those flowers, which it's a bit of a nothing sheet to be honest because you know it would be sideways on in my journal so I'm just going to put that to one side and not use that this again is the same as this one so we'll incorporate that there was a glassine bag would you believe in that pile I didn't even know that so that got coffee dyed too so we can pop that in now the only thing is this is quite small obviously compared to the size of these pages which again I'm going to test against the Amazon packaging in a minute but what we could do is actually cut this down and open it so it's more like a page if you see what I mean that, well should we just do that now and then you know what I'm what I'm talking about so I just cut the bottom off of it and then just cut it down here okay and then it's obviously you know a better size for the other pages whoops and then I'll just get rid of those couple of bits there at the top. So I might even just, just tear that off and then shall I level that off or shall I? I'll probably have to cut across the whole side, I think. Okay. So now that's, you know, another page. I mean, I know it's got that seam there, but I mean, I don't really mind that. Okie dokie, so, right, we've got those, 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 then I've got these papers, which, these were gifted to me um, in Happy Mail, and I absolutely love those. 
So I'm going to save these, I think, to make something else because I think they're really lovely papers. Although that yellow, I can't help but think would look quite nice on here. No, I'm going to save it because I've got kind of other things in mind for those. Although now, now I'm thinking that might work as a cover. Right, I've got this 8x8 sheet, which again, this goes really quite well with these papers. But again, you know, we may want to make pockets or something. Because if I fold that, it's going to be a skinny page. Does that matter? Oh, I don't know now. Perhaps we'll just have a skinny page. Oh, I don't know. Because again, I'm going to need to keep some paper to, um, you know, cover the Amazon packaging, aren't I? So I might keep this as well for maybe covering. Okie dokie, so I'm going to put the rest of this stuff behind me again because I have got a huge stack of papers now. So I mean if I were to fold these in half that's one fat signature isn't it? So what I might have to do is do two signatures on here. So let's just check how these all are height wise and what have you. Right, I'm going to have to cut the Amazon packaging box down because it's huge, absolutely huge. It's sort of taller than I had anticipated. So I will cut that down and then I think what I will do is I will reinforce this bit here and I will kind of score it to make a sort of definite spine. Um, yeah, and then I will, I think, come back to that. So... Right, I'm not going to worry too much about that. So what I'm going to do first of all is get my signatures like assembled in some sort of order. So if I just separate them out, I want kind of two, two piles really. I don't necessarily want tracing paper and vellum next to each other. So I'm just going to mix them up like that. That's quite nice, isn't it? I hope you can see that as you can see that butterfly through there. Um, okay, that's quite nice there. Oh, oh look. I've, I've kept a whole bunch of stuff that I hadn't even noticed in this pile. Wow. How did that slip in there? I just didn't even notice that that was there. So, again, I'm going to take this one out because no, that's a no for me. The green is a no as well. This one, because we're having that blue, that could maybe stay in. That can stay in, definitely no to that yellow. Put those behind me. Another sheet of that vellum where again I scorched it. So I might just put that in, um, because if it's just stitched in, you know, I don't mind it so much. Have another sheet of that paper. Oh, look. How did I miss all of this stuff? I have no idea. No idea. Right, okay. So, again, let's kind of start again. So I muck this up slightly. Right, so we've got a thick sheet, a vellum, a thinner sheet. We'll have a blue. And I think what I'll do is kind of do the same on here. Here. So what I might do is have these facing out and I will do the same with this one actually. So that's a shame because now I haven't got that butterfly there behind the vellum but that doesn't matter. I can always put something else there. Okay so we'll put that one there like that and we can see the blue through there. Um, yeah so I'm going to have those flowers. I wonder if I should have them facing the same way. And then, do I have that other sheet of vellum? Which I will put here. And then I've got another... Oh, that one's even worse, look, with the scorching. So I'm going to use that. Okay. And I'm going to put this one in here. And then we might have... Right, we're going to have to start mixing it up now because I haven't necessarily got two of the same things here. So I'm going to put a brown one and then I will use this chevron type one there. And then I think I have that peach. 
think I've got two of those. So then we can have a peach one here. And then this one here, we'll put that way round and that way round. And I've got that glassine bag, so that can go in that one. And we have this here and that there, I think. Oh, and then I've just got a couple more. So I've got some more of the blue. And then I've got these two as well. So let's put those up there because we might be getting kind of full enough, to be honest. I might have that there. That there. And I will do a quick count up and see how many pages I've got. And we'll just kind of fold it in and see how thick that's looking. So, I mean, to be honest, that's quite thick, really, because by the time that we do put some bits on, you know, it will be quite thick. Now, obviously, a lot of these are just copy paper thickness. So, you know, I may just kind of paper clip a lot of bits on rather than actually put them on because I don't, you know, necessarily trust it to kind of be thick enough to hold stuff. And all I'm going to do now is this piece of scrapbook paper is quite thick. So I'm just going to move that further in like that so it's just spaced out a bit better and then I will do similar on here so again we're just checking through what we've got Oops. oh that chevrony one seems like it is quite the way through there well, that's weird because I thought I was piling up similarly in both okay so that's going to be my couple of signatures so all I'm going to do is pop those to the side not on the floor because I will uh, start getting them a bit mixed up in a minute. Right, so I'm wanting to cut my packaging box down a bit. So, again, if I just pop this here as some sort of guide a little bit. Now, I quite like my covers, you know, bigger than the pages. So, I don't want it sort of flush with the pages. But, of course, I do want it smaller because it was quite big. I'm just going to cut that down here, like that, and then I'm just going to go round here. Now, I don't know whether I will keep this flap on or not, I may take it off, but for the minute, we'll just keep it on. Okay, so if I just pretend that's there. So we've got a natural fold here, obviously. So I'm just going to bone folder that down. Like that. Okay, and then we'll just bone folder this one down. So that we know that's going to be our spine which to be fair you know that's going to be a struggle even that to actually have yeah I think that's going to have to be wider or we're going to have to make two journals would you believe we might have to make two because if I make that much wider what's going to happen is I'm going to lose the ability to have the folding thingy wow this is turning into, um, you know, a bit more than I kind of expected. Anyway, it's all fine. It's all good. It doesn't matter. We're going to just have a fun journey along the way. Right. So what I'm going to do here is I'm just going to grab my Tyvek. Okay, so I've got my roll of Tyvek here. And just going to cut it down roughly to the height of my packaging. Now this does really muck up your scissors, this stuff. So I do try and just keep, you know, my scissors just, just those three packs from Ikea. So I just keep those small ones that I don't tend to use otherwise. And then um, just keep them for my, what am I trying to say? For cutting the Tyvek. I don't keep them all obviously, but you know, just, I've discovered it's better not to use these ones, you know, the ones that I normally use, because they do, they do muck it up a bit. Okay. Just flat 
on. Like that. Oops, it's gone way, way over one side compared to the other. Oh well. Oh well, doesn't really matter, does it? Okay. Trying to look for my little card now, which now I can't find, so I have to use my other one. Okay, so we just then squash that into where our spine bit is going to be. Not making a very good job of this, am I? Okay, like that. So I'm just going to trim off that excess there. really hide the um, address, shouldn't I? Okay. So we'll just cut off any excess there, like that. Okay, right, we are hopefully getting somewhere a little bit more now. Okay, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to do the cover, you know, cover the cover the cover. So I think that would be a good use for some of these papers. Oops. So maybe we will just use this plain this plain paper. Obviously I am not going to get the whole cover covered. The whole cover covered. So I need to decide you know, where would be my best point to have a sort of meeting point. So, yeah, kind of thinking, possibly not on the back, weirdly. I know it's the back. Well, actually, that may be, yeah, that may be okay, actually. Right, so what I'm going to do is just literally Mod Podge this on to the paper. So let's just let's just go for this. Oops. So I'm just going to put it here. Move some of my stuff because I am seriously running out of space here. Oh gosh, I I'm really running out of space. Right. So we want to apply a fair bit so that it's really covered. I don't know why I chose the other side of this patterned paper rather than this side. This one's just a little bit too too busy, I think. I prefer the um, other side, I think. Okay. Okay. Right. We are hopefully raring to go now. So I'm just going to stick this on here, like that. And I'll just turn it over. I mean, I really am very, very tight on space here, but hopefully, hopefully we're going to be okay. So yeah, I mean, it's not really laying very flat because I've got so much stuff on the desk, but doesn't matter so long as we kind of can achieve roughly what we're trying to achieve that's that's good enough isn't it so I just want to get the paper on here in the first instance and then I'll trim it down which will obviously make this a little bit easier to to handle so let's just cut this down now bone folder, getting our creases in, ok, 
Okay, and then this side. Oops. So where we put that other, the other fold. Like that. Right, and now obviously I now need to just apply a bit of extra here just to stick it down on this edge where obviously I didn't have enough Mod Podge going down. That's all good. Okay, right. So that's the that part. Right. That looks really nice so far. Okay, and then obviously we need to do this outer sort of flap and do something with that. So let's just have a look. And I also need to just now think a little bit. Okay, so yeah. We've obviously got this left over. That's not enough. So that's that's no good. We've got that. That's not wide enough. Well, this is where I'm just now going to struggle to find anything that we can use. Um, I mean, I've got obviously all the strips we cut off, but none of them are going to be wide enough. So, short of kind of patching it in, which is probably not really great, is it? Other than that, I've got A4 sheets, which could use unfortunately they're just copy paper which isn't great well I mean it it is great but it's not great for everything so it's probably not great for this uh, I'm just having a look on that pile on the floor oh this is so annoying you know what I'm going to end up having to do don't you use use something from here which was not what I wanted to do oh right let me just have a bit of a think right I'm not going to rush too much um, to to do that let's go to the inside now and just cover the inside before we rush to sort of you know tidy up the outside so I'll just trim this down here at the bottom I did also bring along an old old handbag but again I actually don't think that's going to be big enough which is a bit of a shame because it's you know it's just a little summery kind of you know evening type type bag but I will pull that in in a minute so let's just cover the inside and then we'll have a look I mean I've got this this one that I have been holding for that time why am I still holding it I just what is wrong with me I don't know I just really really like this I can't quite bring myself to use it well perhaps it's time I do what do you think probably is time that I use it to be honest so if I put it like that and then on this side we can have some other some other paper I think yeah I think that's what we're going to have to do so let's just mod podge this down on here okie dokie so we go over the whole lot with a nice generous covering This might be going to be one of those um, atrocious videos that just, you know, the project's so messy I can't possibly show it. <laughs> it may well. Because I haven't really got a plan. This has just evolved literally as I've sat here. I thought let's make some sort of journal. And then as I sat down I spotted the Amazon packaging and thought, oh, something else to use. Um, yeah, so it may be that actually... 
you know this really just turns out just ridiculous maybe doesn't really come together at all who knows stranger things have happened right let's have this here Okay, so again, let me just spread this out as much as I can. Sorry, very messy there, just, just wiping it on my hand, which is so naughty, isn't it? And yeah, I should not be doing that, obviously. But um, it's just really nice and quick and easy to do that. Okay, right grab my wipe so that I can just clean myself up a little bit before before continuing right let's find our foldy bits okay, we've got this one here I just need to now spread that further Fold right on there. Oh my gosh, this is not going well. I've got to confess, I've not really tried using Mod Podge over the Tyvek before, and again, that's probably something I should have tried before, just you know, randomly coming on to do to do a video. But you know, you just kind of think, oh, I'm sure it'll be fine. It will all work fine. And then you're sort of horrified to find that it's not really working fine. Right, let's just try again now. Okay, it seemed like it just hadn't stuck at all to that Tyvek just now. So when I then folded it, it all just came up where, you know, had it just been cardboard, it obviously would have just stayed stuck. So, but hopefully, hopefully that was just a blip and it will now work. You know, maybe it just need a bit of, needed a bit of extra, extra pressing down. Right. So hopefully that's kind of burnished down now. Yeah, I mean, in hindsight, again, maybe Mod Podge wasn't really the best thing to use there. Maybe it wasn't really kind of a strong enough fixative against that Tyvek, which is, you know, not a porous kind of surface, is it? So, yeah. Anyway, we live and learn, don't we? So let's just chop that down. Again, I'm just going to neaten that up at the edges. Okay. I probably need to glue this down a bit more as well. So let's just check that this is now sticking okay. Oh, I could have done with peeling it up a little bit more, I think, adding some other glue, something different. Like now, so uh, we will we will just go with it and um, you know do our best. So right, let me just pop a bit of glue down here. Yeah, it's it's not really wanting to stick very well to that Tyvek, which that's a bit of a shame, isn't it? That I hadn't tested that out first. Okay, right. Hopefully that's now, you know, sticking well enough. So, I'm 
you know what I'm thinking is we might be better off going that way round. Let me just press that crease this way because I'm just thinking that Tyvek might just be happier against the paper if it's the other way round. Let's just try. Oh, this is just so how not to do it, I have to say. So, yeah, please, please, please do not do it my way if you're doing one of these. Oh, look, I'm just making it worse and worse every time I do it. Right, I think we're going to have to go with it the original way after all. But of course everything can be covered up, so we're not going to worry too much because, you know, if it's a horrendous mess, we'll just put some fabric or something over it. So it'll all be fine in the end. Oh my gosh, what a mess. What a mess. Yeah, feeling slightly like, oh my gosh, what an awful video already. But never mind. Right. Okay, let's plow on regardless. So obviously I've got these bits still to cover. Now, let's have a look. I have got this. Oh, look, it's not big enough. Mm -hmm. Let me just have a bit of a think. So if that's going to be like this, yeah, it's not big enough, that's so annoying. I'm thinking I might have to pull in some sheet music or something, which again, you know, I know that's not something from the pile, but because I need something bigger to cover here. So I'm going to do that and um, yeah, hopefully kind of we will we will then have enough coverage going on. So let me just pull in, pull in some sheet music, which luckily I happen to have some here beside me. Right. So, and actually I think we can get away with it the right way round, which is surprising. I thought I would have to have it kind of sideways on, but no, nope, we can have it that way. So, and this is going to look really nice anyway, so that's fine. Right, again, let me just move everything. I am seriously, seriously running out of room here. Okay. Oh my gosh, this is just like awful, awful video, isn't it? Awful video. Yep, I'm, <laughs> I'm embarrassed myself, so. But hey-ho. You know, the thing is, not everything goes as we planned, does it? And... Yeah, I mean, I honestly, I just didn't really have a plan and I should have even, you know, I should have thought of this a bit before coming on. But you know what it's like, you kind of have a vague idea of what you want to do and then you come on and think, oh, I've just spotted that. I can, I can use that. Or I've just spotted that and I can bring that in. And you haven't really got a fixed idea of how to incorporate it, you know. So I hadn't really thought about, obviously, um you know, which way my folds were going to go, whether my paper was going to be too small to actually fit the whole thing, all those kinds of things. And, um, yeah, obviously that now is, um, is very evident. Right. So I'm just going to stick that music sheet down. I mean, don't you just love sheet music? I mean, I just think it's one of the most attractive looking things going. It looks so pretty. I absolutely love it. No, I can't read it, obviously, but you know, it's so beautiful, isn't it? Okay, right. So again, I just need to now check where my, my foldy flap is. So I think it's here. So just, where's my bone folder gone? 
oh, it's there in the drawer. So I'm just going to fold that there. Okay, we we'll just burnish that down there. Okay. Right, let me cut around that now, just to neaten that up a bit. And obviously we can get rid of those jaggedy, jaggedy edges from the, you know, the tear bit from the Amazon packaging. down there so again just a bit of help there okay right hopefully that's now sticking down nicely no no still not I have to say I mean I absolutely love Mod Podge and think it's really great but just sometimes you do need a bit of extra help you know particularly at the edges and things it's um I don't know whether it's because it dries quickly or whether I just don't get it to the edges in the first place but yeah definitely you do sometimes need to kind of give it a bit of help on the edges but but you know that's fine I don't really mind that okay so I'm going to use sheet music on the other side as well because, you know, I'm going to otherwise have the same problem on the other side, whereby I haven't really got anything big enough to go over this. So we'll just use that other... Oh, maybe I'm not going to have that same problem. Well, that's weird, isn't it? Oh, I'd cut that other sheet down. I think that's, I think that's what's happened there. Right, so we could have this. The only thing is then I've got partially that flower, which that's a bit weird, isn't it? Could have that, or we could just have the sheet music. Perhaps we will just go for the sheet music anyway, because maybe that just is what looks best. But maybe we'll have it... Might have it sideways on. So what I'm going to do is just... Oh, look at that. Do you know what? I'm now thinking just get in a bit closer to that on the other side so I'll just tear this tear this down like that and then we can have this little bit which you know it's really quite busy and full and small you know small um oh what's the word anyway small small pieces so that's really nice to have there so let me grab my mod podge back again i'd put it on the floor so it was out of the way because otherwise i'm just you know risking knocking the whole bottle flying and it just then spilling over everything that i'm doing which wow i mean that just wouldn't really surprise me to be honest because how the video is going Probably stranger things have happened. Now I'm putting it over here. It doesn't matter because I will probably Mod Podge the whole of the outside anyway. Um, but also I just want to overlap that um, patterned paper a little bit. So, you know, I'm just going over that a bit. Okay. Let me just run that down there. Okie dokie. Let's put the lid on. Okay, right. I'll just put the Mod Podge right out the way and the brush before I do any more damage. Okay, I'm just going to have it here. Just check I'm sort of semi straight. So just press that down. And again, you know, we can go round and sort of retouch it up with any bits where it's peeling up in a minute so so 
sorry for any jogging of the table and shaking of the table there. Right, let's trim this up, see where we are, and then um, I might actually be up to kind of an hour, so we might have to call it quits here for today, because I know I stopped the video earlier to, um, I think I went and got the Tyvek. So yeah, unfortunately I'm not really too sure how long I've been filming for now, because I've got to have a look and double check the time. But it definitely feels like I've been filming for a long time. Okay, right. So again, we're just going to then sort of burnish this piece down here. Okay. Okay, well, we got there in the end. I know that was a little bit sort of ridiculous in the end but we did indeed get there eventually so yep I'm going to have this obviously as our journal oh, look at what you just pick up when you're at my desk honestly um is our little journal in here oops oh my gosh are there two flaps going around here I know I can't I can't even remember now what the actual packaging even resembled were there two flaps or have I just folded that in the wrong place? What an idiot. I've now burnished that in the wrong place completely. Oh my goodness me. What an idiot, honestly. Oh, I just didn't even realise that. Yeah, this is just one of those videos that, you know, please, please, please don't watch this video. Or maybe it's, maybe it's like that. In which case, why didn't I make my spine bigger? I have no idea now. Hmm, that's just embarrassing, isn't it? Now, kind of thinking maybe I should have it this way round. Is that a bit weird? Hmm. Oh my gosh. What an idiot! <laughs> right, I'm like seriously like losing, losing track here. Right, what I'm going to do is um, bind my journal pages and then kind of decide. And I'm thinking I might do that um, brilliant thing that I saw. Um, who did I see? Barbara from um, 49 Dragonflies. She's been doing quite a lot lately where she just does the eyelets and then she just, you know, holds the pages in with elastic. I mean, she actually holds all of the pages in with the elastic and I don't think she even binds it. I will bind it because um, I'm quite a clumsy person and I feel like if it's not actually bound, you know, they're likely to sort of just be falling out and slipping out. I don't know whether that is a thing or whether that would happen, but yeah, that's kind of how I feel. So I'm going to turn it off to bind this because I know that, you know, I've bound lots of journals before, so I don't want to just bore everyone completely. And then I will either come back in a minute or I will come back, um, you know, another another time. So, yeah, apologies for the shambolic crafting today. And um, hopefully I haven't bit you off and you'll join me again. So thanks very much for watching and see you again soon. Thanks then. Bye.